November, Republican Senator David Perdue facing the Democrat John Ossoff, and it is one of the most important elections on the ballot, and we have not heard a lot from Senator Perdue. 11 Alive's Doug Richards takes a look at why the sounds of silence may be by design. By his advertising, you would certainly know that Senator David Perdue is running for re-election, but by his campaign schedule, you'd hardly know it at all. Senator David Perdue's office says the senator spent August traveling around the state. They document Perdue's visits with photos in news releases sent out after his events have concluded. Senator David Perdue, Perdue rarely sends out a schedule in advance. When he has, as for this event in April 2017, he sometimes draws noisy protesters. In fact, Caroline Stover is among those who regularly protest outside Purdue's office in Buckhead. I have not met or heard of anyone who's had face-to-face uh, -face time with Senator Purdue. How long have you been trying to see David Purdue? It's been uh, three and a half years. I do it differently. I engage individually and in small groups, and we do a lot of that in this state, as you know. Um, that was so Purdue in February 2017, about a month into Donald Trump's presidency. Purdue had become an outspoken supporter of Trump's policies. He drew protesters then. Trump's policies drew protesters this week at events held by Georgia's other Republican Senator, Kelly Loeffler. Unlike Purdue, Loeffler has announced campaign events in advance and encouraged attendance. Loeffler's Twitter site even showed protesters inside another of her events Thursday. Can you blame Senator Purdue for wanting to avoid circumstances like that? If he's afraid of controversy, then he should not be our our representative in Washington, D.C. Senator Perdue continues to be a regular on national cable news shows, particularly Fox News. We asked his office for a comment on the story. We got no response.